1 Thessalonians is a very encouraging letter. Now, if you remember in Acts 17, Paul and Silas had first preached here and many people believed. Now, so you can understand, Thessalonica was a hub city and Rome had just launched kind of a welfare system for the citizens of Thessalonica. Uh, consequently, you had able-bodied men with no purpose and a lot of time on their hands. So it was easy for the Jewish leaders to collaborate with these men and start a riot against the new believers who were, as they called it, turning the world upside down. So from the start, from the very moment these believers were born again, they were birthed into this violent world of persecution. But in spite of this, the church in Thessalonica thrived. And in chapter 1, Paul's praising this church for three things. Their work of faith, their labor of love, and their patience and hope of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, in a welfare culture, this church wasn't operating out of comfort or convenience. They believed that God had called them to a work of faith and a labor of love to share the gospel. And in the face of persecution, they believed with all their heart that the trials of this life were temporary, but the free gift of salvation is eternal. This can only be explained by the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to verse five. For when we brought you the good news, it was not only with words, but also with power. For the Holy Spirit gave you full assurance that what we said was true. And you know of our concern for you from the way we lived when we were with you. So you receive the message with joy from the Holy Spirit, in spite of the severe suffering it brought you. In this way, you imitated both us and the Lord. 